oh my god we've got quite the armies coming here we got like literally like 50 armies attacking this dude all at once oh my god she's gorgeous it looks like we're attacking at range fluttering blossoms so she launches her active skill and literally explodes so we've recruited another hero already how do i unlock this character Today, we're going to be trying a brand new city building strategy war game called Infinite Borders. This game actually came out a while ago in other countries, but only recently came to the United States. And right now they have a massive event going on. The event is a new conquest season. So today we're going to give the game a try, see what the hype is all about. And here, when you start the game, you can actually choose your server. It recommends going into the newest global server. Obviously that would make the most sense, but you can also see here that there's servers in season two, and there's also conquest seasons. And it looks like there are different kinds of conquest seasons the newest one is called all trades contention which apparently includes professions which is not something that i think i've ever seen in a city builder game before but since we're brand new players we're going to be starting in the newest season one server and here you can see that it features a couple of different heroes some of which may sound familiar to you first of all we have a Zhuge Liang right here which obviously a famous chinese general so hopefully he's super powerful and we can get our hands on him but we're just going to jump right in here yeah it looks like we're we're going to be entering into a sort of three kingdoms era i think that is sort of the historical time period that this game is set in and i like the art style of this little cinematic here it actually looks really cool oh we have Cao Cao here as well okay so some familiar faces i love to see it oh we got Lu Bu as well okay he's probably super broken okay so here we can choose where we can raise our army and it looks like there's different sort of heroes or commanders that would be leading that army in that particular region so, so this will probably be an important decision to make but first of course what's going on guys cheers i want you guys to comment down below which one of these famous generals you think i should pick and while you're doing that i want to let you guys know that of course this video is sponsored by infinite borders so if the game looks interesting throughout the video go ahead and give it a try by clicking the link in the description below now one of the really cool things that i'm looking at here as i'm choosing between these generals is it tells you sort of the percentage of players that are speaking different languages in that region so you can pick the one that has the most players that speak your language so for example if I start in the recommended area of the map it says it has 38 percent English speakers which would be the best for me to communicate but also the different regions have different starting bonuses so some of these increase your yield some of them just give you more currency like Cao Cao gives you 10,000 initial food here we have cavalry march speed though okay and you can see that the actual castle looks different depending on your territory so I might just be a little bit of a goofball and just pick the one that I think looks the best like just the most pretty let's pick the Cao Cao faction and we'll see what happens next the days of the Han dynasty are numbered and the yellow turbans ascension is imminent why not surrender now it's all nonsense generals and soldiers charge with me to crush the enemy I'm willing to serve as Vanguard guard and defeat the enemy for you my lord okay so let's see what's going on here it looks like the these are our troops it looks like yellow turban bandits remain obstinate and unyielding we'll need an all-out attack okay so let's go ahead and click on the city and we will dispatch our troops we're gonna choose Cao Cao looks like Cao Cao is a five-star general over here but he's got a couple of Han brigadiers with him okay go ahead and send out our army and here we go looks like we've got oh my god we've got <laughs> we've got quite the armies coming here holy okay so we've got like literally like 50 armies attacking this dude all at once deal with the enemy oh oh okay so they have their armies too so we are fighting over the same city so I guess we're gonna see uh who who is victorious here is this me is the green one me it's probably me right surely surely the enemy forces are of one mind and we are in jeopardy in this battle retreat okay so we won and it looks like we occupied the city okay after the city accept their surrender and gather their elite troops Qing Zhao soldiers to bolster our own troops okay at this moment somewhere in Pingyuan commandary ownerless city sounds like uh sounds like I probably should take that over here it looks like we have some bandits take all the gold silver and treasures you can carry no one's guarding it oh my god she's gorgeous amid the chaos the people in the city are suffering if you get elite troops and generals you'll be able to slay the bandits and rid the people of evil so here's the bandit camp my lord your words resonate with my own sentiments since you harbor grand ambitions I'm willing to lend my support to defeating our enemies Ooh, is this a hero do we actually get to play as her 
we do we have da chow okay i'm so sorry i'm probably gonna mispronounce a lot of these uh a lot of the names here okay so she looks like an archer hero the bandits have let their guard down now's your chance to launch a sneak attack enter the main city here okay you could view troops and facilities we can deploy heroes so let's tap configure and we'll drop her in okay troops are done with preparations and ready to face the enemy all right you can set the plot of land as a target and try to reclaim it okay so here you can see that there's some green and some red here obviously the red is what was just stolen by the bandits so we can actually dispatch her and the uh, army she brings with her and it says generals and soldiers route the enemy and reclaim the city area okay perfect so she claimed it and let's see what happens were there bandits there were so they've actually left bandits stationed there you win when the enemy grand champs strength falls to zero so that's probably the grand champ right there or maybe it's that guy can't really tell oh, it's probably that dude because he's in the back there so okay so our archers are attacking and they're going to take out probably the first bandits here and it looks like we're attacking at range so they're not even like they're not even hurting us really and of course they ran right up to us so now we have to hit them with our melee attacks here what's tally do can't skip battle oh okay watering blossoms so she launches her active skill and literally explodes okay okay so she literally just implodes on them and instant one shots everybody so literally she just ulted right there which is insane destroy enemies to gain experience and upgrade heroes that march out to battle makes sense to me okay so we've conquered that uh piece of land here a hero has been found near the city area i've brought him back already i'm hiding here to defeat the bandits and i didn't expect to meet someone with the same ideals here i'd like to fight alongside you okay so we've recruited another hero already let's see what this dude's all about kung fu song this is a cavalry hero it looks like he also has some specialties here your troop has gained a fierce general you can appoint them as the troops center all right so let's go back into our city here oh okay that's what ctr is center center is the backbone of the troop when used in combination with grand camp can enhance strength so okay dachau is the grand camp go ahead and put him as the center here with these new generals we're much stronger so we can keep fighting the bandits go ahead and attack this other uh, piece of land here same army but now we've got two generals all right so she's still in the back here but our cavalry are launching from the side here and you can actually see if I move my head uh that it does show you as the battle's going on it tells you what's happening on each turn which I do actually like quite a bit and you can see that the cavalry have actually advanced all the way to the back row there and let's see what's going on can I actually is oh we got fierce fire so he's about to ult as well and it looks like he is attacking from back there he's gonna come over here and help out the back row the archers that live in the back row and right now I think because we're in the tutorial I actually can't control anything so these dudes are just popping off all on their own she ulted now which is insane and okay I'm excited to see what these skills are I want to see a description of the skills so you can see we've gained some experience here after many battles troop heroes leveled up and is now able to lead more soldiers so you can see that we're level three for both of them here and boom it actually increases all of our stats including the amount of troops that we can bring with us which is good you recaptured the city all right so this is our city now you are truly of philanthropic excellence the city has been taken back and the people are all jubilant okay let's go into the city here tap draft to increase the strength of your troops draft consumes lumber iron ore and food oh we're drafting like we're literally drafting citizens as troops okay makes sense you'll also notice that it costs a certain amount of resources to draft the troops then also the food has a per hour consumption and that's because you have to feed the people that are in the army so that makes sense okay cool so it says draft 200 soldiers it'll take 31 minutes the more draft the longer it takes of course as you're enjoying great popularity at the moment people rush to help when they hear you're drafting soldiers behold the spectacle of recruiting station okay so that we're literally drafting troops we can seek a good general to help our troops are we gonna get south out here are we gonna summon are we gonna do some summons right now strong men abound spare no expense to recruit them select hero card pack to recruit new heroes ah okay so these are all different summoning packs it looks like the purple ones are probably uh three or five stars maybe four or five stars and then it looks like over here there's a golden one as well but we're gonna go with the blue elite because the tutorial is forcing us and because it's free so let's go ahead and recruit twice it costs actually it looks like it costs some gold there but we have Zhang Mao Liu Dai and that's it okay so we got two new generals now we can set up a second army because we have two more generals facilities can be built in the city so okay let's upgrade the drill grounds so it'll go from one to two deployable troops you can use Jade speed ups to make this happen instantly so let's go ahead and do that we've got 30 more Jade up here I have to add to deploy two troops okay so boom and 
boom there we go these are both cavalry heroes it looks like the enemy's camp is far outside the city if you want to send troops to conquer it you need to first occupy land adjacent to it okay so i can't just attack anybody that i want here we have to conquer this land so let's go ahead and march some troops here send them out and their cavalry so that should be pretty fast it's our duty to defeat the evil usurpers for the people now we do have a battle report here it looks like there were bandits just out in the wild out in the world okay and so this is the fight that occurred when we fought them we had 200 troops uh and they had 40 so super easy win for us your land is adjacent to the enemy you can send troops to attack them directly okay so you only have to touch by corner so yeah i don't have to actually claim the other land here so let's wipe out this bandit camp send her in there generals and soldiers initiate a charge and break the camp okay bandits have been wiped out and your people have been saved so it looks like the more land that you control the more that you can produce different like lumber and things like that your wits and bravery impress generals and soldiers greatly my lord okay bandits are running rampant in these troubled times I'd like to serve as your commandary aid and join you in fighting them and restoring peace to the country please think of a name for your force with which you can recapture Liu Yang and make a name for yourself Omniarch's army exceeds 12 characters what if we just call the force omniarch i am the force okay sick the emergence of new forces everything is to be renewed you can gradually increase your strength via petition marching two troops at the same time greatly increases efficiency please march twice against level one land okay land yield will increase with the land level okay so here you can see level three land produces 240 iron ore per hour and level five is 1200 per hour so and also has a stronger garrison so okay we can actually halt them on the land when we're finished that way they don't come back to the city every time they just stay out and we can keep conquering here oh okay so it looks like we have some login rewards here so if you log in every day for 28 days you can i can move my head here you'll see that you actually get three different purple generals all from the han dynasty oh and the guy that you get on day two is actually a five star compared to the others which are four star so that's pretty good so we sent our troops here and ooh, okay we can zoom all the way in and all the way out how far out can we zoom here okay so i'm assuming that these are are these other players let's see yeah these look like they're actually other players here on the map i'm gonna send this dude out here as well and he can halt when he's done and we've actually finished some quests here so let's go ahead and do that and then we can upgrade castle too looks like there's also daily quests in petition you can view and handle various affairs my lord commission a hero to conduct stratagem training and increase their main stratagem level six we can dispatch generals complete daily affairs so let's do that let's recruit this dude a wise general is one in a thousand continue recruiting and be strategic about it is that like literal like are my odds one in a thousand <laughs> okay I have 26.6 thousand currency yeah let's do it 10 times why not so we got uh a couple of one star generals here we got a three star general um who appears to be I guess infantry okay so we got our first infantry general here which is good well, the two stars uh I assume that the two stars probably aren't anything insane so this is actually the new event here all trades contention registration for the new season is about to be unlocked in the preparation area for specific information about registration and the season's launch plans please refer to the pre preparation area season registration updates this actually looks kind of sick who's this dude is he controlling his army with music roar of the dragon Zuja's great name lasts forever winning descendants respect strategy and abundance eternal glory a feather in the sky okay how do I um how do I unlock this character what's she building is that a what is that why does that look like a what it's a it's a bat light balloon oh we can join an alliance let's do that let's apply here let's go ahead and upgrade the castle uh which is gonna take one minute I'm probably not gonna spend jades to spin that speed that up because I don't have that many jades right now but let's just uh let's just let's just keep claiming our let's just keep claiming this land here so we're gonna we're gonna spread out here I think that'll help our production with with everything that we need to uh upgrade the city the construction of the castle is complete okay so boom there we go we upgrade that construct a residence you can levy taxes and collect coins three times per day so let's do that need more coins I love taxation love that love that is the max castle level eight is that what I'm understanding here or is that just for this like level oh yeah it looks like level eight unlocks divine altar and Buddhist temple okay we have to occupy level two land and it looks like we get uh Sun Jian if we do that so that seems pretty important so let's go ahead and give that a try oh no it looks like these are all the generals in the game oh my god 
god there's an insane amount of generals jesus all right so we've built a warehouse and a lumber yard let's go ahead and do the iron works here as well it's going to take 20 seconds and we're currently working on the recruiting station so we can have two buildings going at the same time and i do think that we can do a third building later once we upgrade the castle to level five so if we click the castle it says you need a lumber yard level three and an ironworks level three in order to upgrade it before we do that though let's upgrade the warehouse because that increases the maximum resources that we can hold it literally quadruples it so that's going to be super important and i'm retreating this army here because i want to send it out to take some level two land which is right here here because that is actually one of the quests we have to do so we're doing what we have to do we're getting things done around here honestly the graphics here sort of remind me of like more of a nostalgic sort of city builder open world almost like age of empires or like civilization or something like that it's very nostalgic and that's in a good way and also the music is just so relaxing it's like very epic but also very traditional sort of chinese relaxing music which i like that okay now that we've sent our army back to the city let's send her over over here I think our odds of winning are high so let's see what happens we've got a minute and a half before we can complete that and while that's going let's go into our city here and see what else we can upgrade all right we'll do our lumber yard next so you can hear the music changes to like this epic sort of conquest music when we dispatch over to uh some land that we can conquer let's go ahead and I don't know if I'm ready for a level three. Oh, we can't even do a level three because the enemies are too strong okay so let's send him over here here to do the level two and then it looks like the lumber yard was finished so next we're going to do the iron works to level two and we got to get them both to level three so we're making some progress here all right and it looks like we won your rising strength my lord occupying lands can increase force value you could also claim devoted and ambitious rewards from events to grow faster all right so it brings us to the event page I already looked at that stuff here but we can claim some of oh there we go we got our new our new general this is a cavalry general here as well and we got a ton of goodies for completing that chapter three making preparations all right so we've already done the warehouse level three and we've already had two heroes reach level five so we gained a new stratagem oh, we gained two new stratagems okay let's take a look at that level two land battle actually because this is the first time that we've actually conquered level two land so let's see how we did here and it looks like they had 700 units we can see that in the top right corner here we had 800 so it was actually kind of close I'm glad that I sent my stronger general there because my other army I think only had 600 units so definitely the better play uh and can we make this go faster we can actually we can increase the speed he's ulting literally popping off big damage there is she gonna ult next and boop oh okay so he's actually kind of tanky I feel like this dude kind of tanked that pretty well you guys remember the first fight when she ulted two armies died instantaneously these guys both use their skill and uh it was tanked pretty strong so I'm glad we won it looks like there's heroes out on the map and I can talk to them and there's a little bit of dialogue between two heroes and then once I do that I gain a bunch of extra resources so if you guys are new to the game that's actually probably something really good to know if you kind of scout around the map you might see some dialogue options uh did I just get lucky those two happened right near my city yeah I don't see any more maybe I just got lucky there but I kind of want to come over to these barracks and see what I can do here all right so I'm setting him out to claim this level one territory and it looks like the generals actually have a certain amount of stamina here so each attack is actually uh, is taking some amount of stamina so for them it would take 10 stamina here and this is the remaining stamina so I assume that that stamina regenerates over time oh yeah it says 18 stamina is recovered every one hour upgrade the city's drill grounds to level two to increase the stamina cap okay cool that's probably a feature to prevent players from relying on one general over and over and over again so like a super powerful player that's been playing for longer than you can't just attack you infinitely with the same general let's claim these quests over here we have to occupy four level two land oh my god I don't even see any level two land near my city next we're gonna upgrade our castle to level three and it actually warns us that it's gonna consume a lot of stone and if we take a look here it's gonna consume 15,000 of our 19 15,000 stone so nearly all of our stone is going to be used on just this one upgrade so that's why it's warning us but it seems like it's the bottleneck I don't think I can upgrade anything else after this Gale battalion so we got to do it so it looks like stratagems are kind of like skills and so for instance this cavalry general that we have here has fierce fire this is the actual general's stratagem and it says that they launch a strategic attack against a single enemy unit the damage rate of 40 percent affected by ingenuity which I assume is one of the 
stats here yes this is his ingenuity level and inflicts burning causing the target to lose some strength during each turn with a damage rate of 37.5 percent for one turn okay so it's like a two turn hit and we can enhance for 50 i see and then we can also have him learn sort of a generic stratagem that we got earlier this launches an attack against an enemy unit with a 43 and a half percent damage rate and this one is a 50 percent damage rate but this one is based on ingenuity which i think he's already he's already good with so let's go ahead and give him that let's take a look at her skill it says fluttering blossom launches a strategic attack on the enemy group so that's uh probably an aoe it looks like with a damage rate of 59.5 percent in affected by ingenuity and recovers some strength for all allies so i guess a little bit of uh strength heal here so let's go ahead and enhance that might as well i gave her plane attack too this guy has hot pursuit after a basic attack applies shaken effect to the target which is a debuff and dot damage generates deserters per turn with a damage rate of 37.5 and increases user attack okay so a little bit of a buff there as well now as you can see here i'm quite low on stone compared to everything else so i'm gonna send i just need to like claim as much land as i can here which is using a lot of my stamina but like I don't really have a choice we uh we have to do it look at our little plot of land man oh we actually leveled up here okay cool we're making some progress boys we're starting to conquer the map a little bit so once this dude hits level five I can actually give him another stratagem so he actually gains like another skill that he can do in the battle and that's gonna help you deal some damage I like how we got the little deer running around over here that's kind of cute they're playing with each other that's adorable all right we've occupied the land so each time we do that we're getting more and more lumber more and more food and everything like that oh and we've upgraded to level six over here too when i tap on the city you can see a green uh sort of perimeter around the uh around the map here i guess that's like adjacent territory that i could that i could claim so that's probably the goal is to fill in that area like right in the early game you want to you want to get all that land around your city which includes this level six land oh see this gives you a ton of food so there's a couple of like different uh, tiles here this is a lot of stone per hour some of this stuff oh my god that's a lot of lumber okay we have five more attempts for the han generals here so i think we should just we should just do all of them right i mean we've got enough coins for it let's just let's just do it and we've converted this two star automatically we've got uh Cao Bao. okay got that dude twice so nothing crazy here it looks like here we have famous generals of shu han and i get a 50 percent discount on my first recruit attempt there so I'm actually gonna try that that seems like a good deal let's use the Jade and we got a four star shoe Guan Ping and it also looks like you get this for free every seven hours I suppose so that's also pretty nice let's do 10 of these let's see if we get anything good Ooh, literally all two stars let's do it again boom we get all two stars again let's do it again boom wow all one and two stars can we get a can we get something good like this could give me a four star can I get a four star I'm getting wrecked oh my god I'm getting wrecked oh I'm only getting one and two star but the good thing is that when you convert this to experience you can use this to level up the stratagems of the heroes that you already have so it's fine if these aren't any great but boy does that hurt okay now that we failed all those summons we have a lot of currency here that we can use to like enhance the uh stratagems of our heroes so let's do that boom we'll do that one to level two come over here We'll upgrade his his is actually super expensive I don't know why he must have a really powerful buff or something like that we can do his as well so boom there we go all right we need this level two land so let's go ahead and claim that we also need this level two land as well so we'll march over there these level two lands are going to help us with our next quest here we need two more level two lands so we should be able to complete it once these two are done marching all right so we are making progress guys we are we are claiming we're claiming the land recruiting generals building our city here we're so close to castle level three but guys if you want to unleash your skills and conquer the world in infinite borders make sure you go down in the description and click my link give the game a try it's absolutely free you can play it on pc which is what i'm doing here but you can play it also on ios you can play it on android of course it is a global game it is launched in many different countries and right now is the perfect time to give the game a try because of the all new conquest season the all trades contention anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other players might see it comment down below your thoughts on infinite borders have you heard of the game before have you tried it already are you gonna give the game a try if you like this genre of game i do think it's something that you should definitely check out of course it's free so why not and if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a video and i want to thank infinite borders once again for sponsoring today's video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace